Hey guys, Charlie from worshipguitarskills.com back here again with another two minute Tuesday video. Today we're going to cover the topic of voicings. Now, before we get to exactly what a voicing is, let me tell you why you need this. As a guitar player and as a musician, you have so many options available at your disposal. And when you understand different chord voicings on the guitar, you can be way more effective in the choices that you make when it comes to playing chord progressions or whatever the case may be. This is one of the most misunderstood things for electric guitarists specifically because they tend to just play the open chords which some people call cowboy chords or they just go with full-on bar chord shapes and neither of those types of chord shapes or voicings if you will actually cut it in modern worship. So it's very important to understand that there's way more to a G chord than just an open G shape or a bar chord shape. There's many other different ways in which you can arrange those notes to give you different voicings so you can make some better choices as it relates to how you play chords. Right, so let's get the timer ready and I'm gonna give you a quick rundown of how I would explain a voicing to somebody that is not familiar with the topic. Now, as a musician, you're kind of like a painter. So instead of working with paint on a canvas that people can appreciate through their sight, we use rhythms and sounds to create what I call colorful sonic landscapes. You know, people will take that in through listening. Now, the more colors that you have at your disposal as a painter, the more creative you can be in how you basically go and illustrate whatever it is you want to paint. Now, in the same way that you have three primary colors, you can start mixing and matching those primary colors together to give you secondary colors. Now in music, we can do the same. Even though a major chord typically only has three notes, we can mix and match the order and the combination of those notes to reveal different sounds, much like you would do when you start mixing colors together. So the term voicing really comes down to how you determine to voice a specific chord because if you think about people we have different uh, sounds in our voices we have different ways in which we talk uh, you can do the same with your chords now going back to that painting analogy two people can paint exactly the same object but the interpretation and the execution if you will will be different when it comes to how they actually paint that on the canvas now as musicians we need to do the same I can either play a straightforward C triad like this or I can do something else like this or like that you know all of those are different versions of C I've just decided to voice them differently and how you're gonna make the choice of voicing to use will all depend on the context of the song and the specific sound that you are looking for and that's why it's so important that you need to learn how to properly voice your chords and not just play the typical cowboy chord shapes or the bar chords because those are simply not going to cut it they're not going to cut through the mix and they're not going to work well with the other instruments in what we call a modern worship context now chord tones are a great starting place when it comes to learning more about voicings and then you can start looking at all the different ways in which you can organize those same notes together to give you different voicings. All right, so there you go. Hopefully you understand the concept of voicings now and see why it's important for you to do that. Now, if you wanna dig deeper and learn more about that, check out the link in the description below that'll take you to a detailed lesson where we can discuss this concept in more depth and detail. Hopefully that's been helpful. And remember guys, if you want me to answer your question on these Two Minute Tuesday videos, check out the link in the description for more information on how you can get your question submitted to us. And I look forward to answering that for you in an upcoming video. All right, guys, have fun. I'll see you in the next one.